you recognize this music. Yeah, we're playing the, the fairy tale adventure, which is just, it's a bit jank. So I apologize. <laughs> but I thought we'd just have a little cozy chill out, try and figure out what I'm doing tonight. But I'm already feeling the music. <laughs> the stunning music. Um, I can't even remember the buttons. Not that. But like I said, is it is it too noisy? Does it need to be turned down? Oh, there's one I killed earlier. So I think the last time we looked at this game, we needed to get... Where was it? It could be turned down a bit. <laughs> Let's see how that is. Is that better? I'm gonna listen to myself. I think that's better. But yeah, it's, sorry, I'm still just thinking. Thank you so much, Isako. That was such a lovely surprise going live. That's better now. So those... If you see the blue circle, let me get arrow. Where is arrow? So I believe we need to get some more of these. I don't know how many we need. It's going to be a bit of a grind. We need to get those. We need to get red keys. And then we can go to the next area. But other than that... <laughs> Unfortunately, it's going to be a bit of a grind tonight. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this mouse cursor? Uh, oh, that is dead arrow the acrobat. Last time we were playing, we managed to get the wand from the dragon. Angel, are you familiar with this? How you doing? I don't know what to do at this point with the game, though, other than to try and get this crystal orb. Oh, and there's another one. Beautiful. Yeah, we have some more emotes now, Isaku. We've still got Grace, though. I think here you're best to switch it off. I know, but I don't want the silence, because then it's just it's me in my room. <laughs> in the dark. Alone. With a drone of traffic. But I, I guess I just kind of need to walk around and kill monsters until we get a couple of more crystal orbs. Apparently we hated Arrow so much, we only like him in this form. <laughs> we hated Arrow. He's forever got a place in my heart, though. And it hurts. But yeah, this is kind of a, a hard sell at the moment, those of you who are just joining me on this game and haven't seen the previous stream that we did of this game because we basically got to a dead end <laughs> and the guide that we were using said that we need crystal orbs and what? There's not like a single enemy inside. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Fuck up the skull. Ooh. Found nothing. Red key, that'll do. Oh, my vitality's low. Gold key, gold key. I've only got 24 vitality left though, so I should perhaps use the item. Where is the item? No, that's not right. I've already forgotten how to play this game. Where's my item menu? That's talk. Take what? No. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. I need to use one of these. That feels a lot better. We'll use another. It's a very impressive dragon in this game. There was X dragon. Oh, did we kill him or did we just flee? I don't remember now. 
There we go. But yeah, I guess... How many orbs do you think we need? We've got two now. And we've got five red keys. So I've honestly got no idea how many we're going to need, but by the looks of the guide and stuff, it seems like we're halfway through this game. I thought we'd play it for an hour or two and then maybe play something a little bit more hands-on. But I don't know, maybe we'll end up vibing the fuck out to the fairy tale adventure. Oh shit. What the fuck I mean, now that we got this... Oh, there's another one. Crystal orb. Another crystal orb. This magic wand, you know, I'm going to turn the music down again, my own benefit. This crystal wand definitely messes things up. I guess we could try to sleep, but it, he often says, I don't really understand how you get health back in this game other than buying potions, which I guess we could do. But it seems like we need to sleep before we go on big adventures, because he was moaning last time that he was getting tired. I kind of was wishing <laughs> maybe some professional... Oh, what's that? Food and drink. Let's just buy it. Feeling full. I was hoping some sort of professional fairy tale adventure person might come in one day and backseat this experience, but it's, it's yet to happen bought some travel rations. No, I want to buy some healing elixirs. I'm just going to buy them all. Is that enough? How many can we hold? Maybe that's all of them. Let's use them. Oh, not that. Shit. Did I just waste one? Oh my god, I'm going to be so angry. <gasps> no. I thought I just wasted one of those orbs. The D-pad slipped. Where is it? There we go. Feeling better. I don't even know what my maximum V is. Thanks for the gift sub. Oh yes, you just got a gift sub from Isaka earlier. How you doing, Big D? I wonder what the people that made this game are doing now. <laughs> Hopefully not composing any more pieces of music. It definitely looks like this was an Amiga game, though. It's an old game. This is, it's just, it's one of those cases where it has no business being on the Mega Drive. It's too old for the Mega Drive. It probably, from, I was reading the YouTube comments on that video that we were just listening to, like the, the remix music. There's so much love for this game on YouTube, like people writing comments, but I think they're all talking about the Amiga version, not the Mega Drive version. Lots of people saying like, oh, this this game reminds me of being like seven and playing it with my dad. And going on an adventure. The remix is so good. Yeah, it's better than this. It's just, it's using very ugly Mega Drive instruments. It's not that the composition is bad. Have we talked to you before? Who are you? Where, which is talk? Oh! Like the eye itself, a crystal orb can help to find things concealed. So this is Fairy Tale Adventure. Ooh, yes, it has a dragon in it as well. Hi, Jamesy, how's it going? Oops. What's this music? Oh, this is the nighttime music. I kind of don't mind this though. The design of the game here worked for one year on The Sims 2 and also worked on the user interface of Google Plus. What? That's crazy. Have everyone a nice weekend of it thus far. I'm sorry that you're all ending your weekends with this. I apologize. All I want is a couple of more crystal orbs. 
Fuck, okay, no. I want a crystal orb and a dirt. And then we need to figure out where we're going. I have no idea where we're going, though, once we've got these crystal orbs. I perhaps shouldn't have left it two weeks since I last played this game. This to Sims 2. I'd have loved this game, to be honest. Really? On the Mega Drive? I'd be curious to play the Amiga version. I think, though, you know, if you didn't have much else, it probably would be quite fun to get your teeth into it. Oh, we got another Crystal Orb. My only issue is too much of it's based on having items and they drop from RNG. That's kind of just shitty to me. My god, that, that... I can't even pause the game. That yes just get the shit out of me. <laughs> I need to turn my laptop's volume down. Oh, it's going down. But yeah, as this is going to be a little bit of a grindy start to the stream, Sadie suggested that we play the game while we do it. If you'd like to, we can. We could play the 20 questions game. <laughs> Very proud of you clocking Dynamite Heady. Such perseverance, such wow. It was really good. But I'm in lurk. I have to get productive now. Well, thank you for the lurk, though. And thank you so much for those gifted subs, Isaka. That's so sweet of you. I'm going to shout you out again now, because the problem is, is, you know when you're here early and you give someone a shout out and nobody is here yet? I'll give you another one now. Anybody that wants to watch a nice, relaxing stream, do check out Isako. Another LGBT streamer. Based in Austria, but streams in English and German. And also creator of a game that we played on my Twitch channel. If you would like to check out my VOD, a certain game called Marcus Ritter. Definitely a highlight of my very early Twitch days. You were here for that, weren't you, Sadie? Reminds me, I really do want to get hold of that card capture Sakura game that you were playing before. Yes. Yeah, Marcus Ritter was a really good fun evening. It's one of those, there's, there's, there's a few games like that, like Echo the Dolphin, except the end, where I've just like vibed out with a nice beer late at night. This is not a vibe though, not at the moment. I really just want to find those crystal... crystal orbs. I don't even know where to go when we've got them. I don't know how many we need. I perhaps should have found a map before I went live. <laughs> oh, what's that? Found a blue stone. Found a jade skull. Is that something to pick up? You found a glass vial. But I guess we should head back to the town. But unfortunately, I'm kind of lost. I don't know where I am. Is it back this way? This game really does make me want to play Dink Smallwood again, though. Oh, what happened there? It's like the game just chugged. To load something. Grey key. Grey key. Same shit. I want the crystal orb. See, this is the part that I really can't be bothered with. Other than that, I think I would be quite, like, really into this game. I just want to, because I just want to carry on. I don't want to have to find a 
some more crystal orbs. That would be the first thing I would change. The second thing I would change would just be this like 30 second battle loop. I wonder if there is a full map that we could find that's got the names of the places on. Because the one that's in the manual is very bare bones. It was midnight. And a blue stone. And nothing. You have to, they're so weird, those raids. It says in the manual, but you have to like use the take action as they die in order to take the item from them. Oh, here we are. Is this the way back? There we go. I think I'm going to go rest in the town again. Resupply. We've got so many bravery points now. 60 luck. I can't remember what K is. What was K? The V is vitality, which is health. Potassium. <laughs> Not special K. Ketamine. The enemies, like, where are you? An album by Kula Shaker. <laughs> Keep on coming. <laughs> but yeah, would, you, would, would anybody like... I'll, I'll use the points. I'm that bored right now with this game. A blue stone. Would you like to play the 20 questions game? <laughs> Julian ate one of his apples. Okay. I think it's time for Julian to go to bed, though. He entered the building. Take what? Take that. He decided to lie down and sleep. Hey, at least the music is varied and not at all monotonous. It's about nine minutes long if you look it up on YouTube. I think that's rather spiffing. And it's morning. Julian is not sleepy. Good for him. So I'm, I've heard... I've heard that if you die, then you become the other brothers, which is kind of interesting. But I don't really want to risk it. And there we go, the 20 questions game. Let me choose a game then. Ooh. Let me have a look at my shelf. Um... I'm trying to think of one that's not too easy. Okay, I've got one. Although actually, maybe I shouldn't do that because I don't know. I don't. Maybe I don't know enough about it. Um, no, I'm going to change that just in case. Okay, yes, I've got one now. And let me just double check something, because I know... Okay. There we go, 20 questions game you can start. Anybody that doesn't know, 20 questions to guess the game that's on my shelf. The banned question is, have you streamed it? We're not allowed to ask that question because I haven't streamed that many games. <laughs> and please type the number next to your questions so that we can keep track of where we are. And also, not gonna lie, the origins of this game 
I was totally influenced by Angel Interceptor and a wonderful I Spy game on her channel. It definitely did give me that little nudge to think like, that's kind of fun. And there she is, playing Egg. <laughs> Is the protagonist a blue hedgehog? No, it's not Sonic. <laughs> Although, I was this close, which you can't even see, but I was, physically speaking, I was this close to picking Sonic Unleashed. So that would have been terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is the protagonist human? That's question two. Yes. Does it have multiplayer char multiple playable characters? Mm, no. Uh, how many more orbs have we got to get? I want to get at least, you know, maybe five. I think that will do. Oh, the menu system on this is just so strange. Blue key. I don't want a blue key. I want a crystal orb. What's in here? Is it, oh, is it not? Oh, it's still done. Where's the thing that's coming? Gold key. No. Maybe we should just head over. Maybe we can get them on the way. Does it take place in a fantasy setting? No. my life I would be playing the fairy tale adventure on the Mega Drive. Is it a platforming side scroller? No. The game keeps like freezing. Like it's rendering in the stuff. Oh I got him. Great key. No, I've got tons of stuff. Where are we now? Oh, hello there. That's arms, arms for the poor. Arms for the poor. Can we give him arms? Lovely jewels glint in the night. Give to us the gift of sight. Right. I don't... I think we've been here already, though. Maybe I'm going to take a moment to just pull up the instruction manual, I think. Let's have a look. Turtle Point and Sorcery Island. We did that. The Dragon's Cave. We did that. The Tombs of Hemsaf. That's where we need to go, but it says that you need jewels. The best way to see why we've done that. You notice by now that your ultimate quest, blah, 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 it has become more difficult. Before beginning the task, make sure you have a large number of gold keys. Why gold? I thought it was red. And crystal orbs. You should also have several red keys. Well, at the risk of being noisy. Mute that. Let me see how many have I got in the game. 
We've got five red keys and tons of gold keys, so that's fine. Um, set out early in the day for the tombs. Remember to eat. When you enter the tombs, take the first right. Well, we need to find out where the tombs are, are first. The tombs of Hefseth, or whatever it is. I have zero idea. Where's the map? Oh, there we go. Marheim, Watchtower, Seahold. The world is just huge, but it's very empty. Ah, Hembath Tomb, that would be it. Is this on the PS1? Yes. You seem to have a double chat thing on screen, do I? Oh, so I do. Why is that one on this scene? Only this scene though, I think. That's because that's my old one. Should be gone now. There we go. Is it gone now? That was my old chat thing that I used when I, before I was doing Mega Drive stuff. <clears throat> that must have been there for ages then. Right, well I guess we need to get to Hembath Tomb, which is where Tambury is the main town. So we need to go west, over a river by the looks of it. There. Okay, let's do that and see where we end up. And I also just want to test out that I've turned that off successfully. Where's the, where's the, oh my god, I can't remember how to do the menu thing. I turned the music off because I had to turn it off while I was in the manual. <clears throat> but there we go. Is it a stealth game? No. Let's go back to the town, which was where? Back this way. The town's over here though, right? What was the answer to PS1? Yes, it's on the PS1. Oh, there's a grey key. Did you just see it just disappeared? Oh. How weird. It's like... It's loading the other part of the map, isn't it? It's like, it's like Mega Drive's got draw distance. Julian was getting tired, why? He only just got up. He said he wasn't sleeping. Asshole, a lot of Julian. And another crystal orb, fantastic. Is the protagonist male? We're on question eight. No. I've lost the main town again, though. Oh, I'm just gonna use a totem. I don't remember where I am. Where are we? It's ridiculous that you have to use a consumable item. Oh, wait, what's that? This is south of the town, isn't it? Stone. But 
No, the protagonist is not male. Rest. How do I rest? Oh, go rest. You said you're tired. I don't really ever get how it works. Does the game involve mitochondria? Drew was tired, so he decided to lie down and sleep. Evening was drawing. I don't want to go evening though. I want to go in the morning. Mitochondria, no. No mitochondria. This is not Parasite Eve. No time for that now. I'd like to leave in the morning. Not at night time. You know, there's a Might and Magic game on here as well, and that's going to be really painful, isn't it? How do I make him sleep? It's like it's a sweet spot. Oh, just wait a while. Julian is not sleepy. Well, he should be. Leaving at night time is not the best idea. How many of these totems have I got? Bird totems. Only two? Shit. Well, I'm just gonna cheat like the slime that I am. Because this is silly. Technically, you could just save in the game anyway. Let me just pull that map up again. Let's have a look. So. So confusing. That dot, so I'm here right now. That dot is over there, whatever that is. I think I've been there before. I just need to go off in a straight line. I think. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could see two pages on the same screen. Can I even do that? Lake. It must connect to that, so it must be that that connects over. Right. This is such a pain in the arse of the game. <laughs> but also, Sadie, I don't know if you're still lurking around, but I just saw your message. I hope everything is going well today. not quite where I wanted to go, I don't think. Oh, I didn't load either. I wanted to keep the... I wanted to keep the bird totem. Because I've only got two. Oh, what now? My key. Nothing. Julian ate one of his apples. What's that? Fifteen gold pieces? Does the main character use guns now? It is not Tomb Raider. Right, so this is what I'm talking about. I don't know what to do here. You think of fear effect? Ah, well it's not that either. That's multiple characters. Zing! <laughs> I was leaning towards Tomb Raider 2. I mean, I don't want to be an arse, but uh, I'll give you a little bit of a hint accidentally. But 
but when you say multiple characters, like, you don't control them specifically, but you kind of do, but not all the time. Let's say, for example, if it was an RPG, does Final Fantasy have you controlling multiple characters? Yes or no? I don't know. I would say no. But it, technically, you do. It's not Final Fantasy VII, by the way. But I have given you a hint of the charm, right? Sure, Parasite Eve is female but has guns. Ah! It's not Parasite Eve though. That would involve mitochondria. <laughs> ah, you've never played Abba, that we'll let you off then. I was gonna say, because there's quite a few reasons why it's not Parasite Eve. <laughs> Absolutely not, Parasite Eve. Right, I'm gonna use the stupid bird totem again. Can't see where I am on the map. Need to go more. Is it a horror RPG? <laughs> yes, congratulations, you win. <laughs> Question 12, is it? <laughs> Is it the only horror RPG on the PlayStation 1? Yes, it is! <laughs> that's, not pe that's not Parasite Eve. So the tomb is, must be around here somewhere. I'm going to save again and use this. There it is. Just follow this road all the way. I think that's it. So, we do actually have an in-game save for this. Actually, I should use that. It really wasn't that bad. I should keep using that. Yeah. Because we, can, we can just... We can save and load anywhere in this game. It's quite ridiculous. It just reloads you where you were. So... But I find just save stating is ever so slightly faster. Do you get different, some might say, best ending by losing to the last boss? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello, Runix. Hmm, I got nothing. <laughs> Is it set in Wales? <laughs> and features a priest? <laughs> and a psychic female? who has, you know, a skirt that doesn't leave much to the imagination, wants to be Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and birthed a franchise on the PlayStation 2. Is it Kudelka? No, yes it is, it's Kudelka. Congratulations. Kudalka on my shelf. Oh, hello. King, oh no. Kind deeds could gain thee a friend from the sea. Oh, I suppose that's a hint about the turtle then, but we've already done all that, so... See ya. Bow and arrows. Gold ring. Minus the U. It has a U, doesn't it? No, it has a U. That's the correct spelling. Unless you changed it in America, because I know you don't like being like a U over there. Zing! That's what it says on my shelf. Oh, there is a U, yeah. 
you just find it difficult to see, I think. You're too used to it without. And here we are, at the tomb of whatever it was, Hembeth. He went inside the inn. What the fuck? This was supposed to be the tomb of Hembeth. <laughs> God damn it, can we sleep here until morning? Because I'm sick of this. Julian is not sleeping while I'm sleeping. He can shit his tomb. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, we can buy stuff though. I thought the travel are the travel rations cheaper here. They might be. I'm gonna use one of those potions. Julian feels a lot better. It's great. Um, how many have we got left? Can't even see. I, I don't know how many we've got left. Hmm. Did I use them all? I don't even see the potions, unless it's the third one across. They renovated. We'll get some... I think I'll buy some more of those. We'll leave it there, I think. For him. Well, if this isn't the tomb, where is the tomb? And why, when will Julian sleep? not sleeping. Oh my god. This music is ear piercing. I wish I could like listen to the YouTube music while I did this. My headphones aren't plugged into the computer though. Right, let's do one more bird totem. It must be... Oh, let's have a look. It must be all the way south, then. Oh, bug god. I don't even know what I just said then. That was like, oh my god, an old bugger altogether. But uh, that's where we are. We're down there. Should have taken that turn at Albuquerque. Hmm. I guess we can just walk in a straight line all the way down. Oh shit, did I even... No, I, I want to reload, I want to keep my bird totem, thanks. At least the sun's coming up. Probably try and find the path as well in case I walk straight past the tomb. So there's just empty space in this game. the night to day cycle is essentially just the, the I mean I guess there's no other way you would be able to do it but it, it really is just the sprites changing colour gradually like the grass is getting a lighter shade blue stone there they are glass vial I want whatever, I'm gonna use this bird again. 
Where are we? Oh, That makes me wonder what's to the left. Let's have a look. Oh. Why didn't that load? Oh, I think I just pressed the wrong button. Crap. You're revisiting Bowser's inside story. What, as we speak? That is not quite. I've pressed the wrong button. And I've wasted a bird to I don't have any more bird totems. This is... this sucks. I might have to reload. Because I don't know where I am otherwise. I'm pressing buttons at this very moment. No, you don't. You're typing that sentence. I wanted to look at that water circle that was off up this way. I can't see. This is the most ridiculous part of this game, though, I have to say. There's no need for the map to be a consumable item. It's really hard to come by when the world map is so flippin' huge. I'm just curious if there's something in the centre of this map. something here, seeing as how significant it looks. You think there might be something here? No, then I just wasted all those crystal orbs. But I'm going to go back to I think a second ago. Was it? Where are we now? The inn again, and I've got my bird totem. That's what I wanted to do. <sighs> I think this time I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with the path. Then I won't need to keep using bird totem. Um, slightly stick with the path. Oh, a lot of skeletons. And a red key as well. But I do feel like I'm playing some sort of really old DOS game. On a console, which is just not really normal. But yeah, I think, and I didn't finish my sentence earlier. I believe that there is a Might and Magic game on the Mega Drive. I'm worried about that one as well. I've never played any Might and Magic games. I've only heard of them. There's also a Dungeons and Dragons game on the Mega Drive, but I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that one rather than being put off it. I, you see what I mean? Like, I'm gonna have to use another bird totem because I ain't got a fucking clue where we are. Oh, we're right next to the tomb. Well, you watch the streamer play Might and Magic. I love the graphics. Which one though? Because there's loads of Might and Magic games. Did you watch the Mega Drive one? I've seen quite a few. I know there's quite a lot of the PC ones. Right, we have arrived at the tomb, I believe. Oops. 
I mean, this has some cool ideas. You know, it feels like a very, very early primitive version of what would go on to be games like the Elder Scrolls and stuff. You know, this sort of massive world exploration and sleeping and eating and the random hints and stuff. It's just not executed very well here. Julian came to the tomb of Hemsath. Okay. Heroes of Might and Magic. I have no idea which one the Mega Drive one is. Do you know what you saw it played on? Was it a PC game? Here we are. See, this is disappointing. This tomb looks exactly the same as the other tomb that we went to. I was hoping there'd be some sort of different graphics. Right, what did the guide say? It was PC. See, it's probably going to be better on PC. When you enter the tomb, take the first right. Go to the end of the corridor and turn right again. Now go south through a long corridor. And eventually you'll come to a corridor leading east. This will take you to a stone maze. Oh, great. I love a maze. Absolutely hate mazes in video games. I think they're the laziest way of padding something out. Unless you're going to provide a map. Makes you wonder what else would have, what the other direction would have been. How long is this corridor? Is this free? Like. <laughs> I feel like this could be like my be right back screen. Just walking through this corridor. It was morning. Wow. And it's still going. Oh no. Oh, we got a crystal orb. The one in the Mega Drive is Might and Magic 2. Looks pretty different. Do we need to play Might and Magic 1? I wonder. Um, you'll come to a part of leaving east. This will take you to a stone maze. There's no simple way to go through the maze. Excellent. Maybe I should save it in case this goes horribly wrong. There's no way to go through the maze. Explore it thoroughly. You will find a gold statue and a bone, which represents the bones of the ancient king that the spectre wants you to find. Gold. I'm going to swap over for a second so that you can have this knowledge with me too. Prinny of Time is here, how you doing? But yeah, I'm just gonna struggle through this a bit, I think. Um, let me make it bigger. So, we're here now. This will take you to the stone maze with rooms connected by golden doors. There's no simple way for the maze, explore it thoroughly, and you will find a gold statue and a bone, which represents the bones. So that's what we needed, because we needed to go back to that tomb to give it to the spectre last time, didn't we? Gold keys unlock gold doors. When you see two rooms that are close together but have no connecting door... What? Oh, use a crystal orb and a secret door may be revealed. Red keys unlock secret doors. If you're short on gold keys, save the game before entering the stone maze. Unlock a few doors, then immediately restore the game. The doors were... What? Why does this game promote cheating RNG and save scumming? This is the second time that the game, the manual has suggested just reloading your save to get a better result. It said that about the treasure chests too. Like if you don't like what's in the treasure chest, reload your save. It's, it'll change every time. So now this is see this is good information. I wish I'd known. So if you don't have enough keys, just say just save your game, open the door, reload the door, will stay unlocked, and you'll get your keys back. Why is this in the manual? <laughs> Why is this a design? Prinny is drunk, but he's watching Moon's dream, so he's happy. He hopes Moon is doing well. 
time is it where you are? I mean, it's always 8 o'clock somewhere, isn't it? One twenty here. I'm drinking coffee, though. Go see the spectre in the graveyard. No. So first we need to just open the doors. I couldn't do this game drunk, though. That's why I'm sitting here with a coffee for the moment, because it's just too much going on. Right, let's go back to the game. Some horrible... 8 o'clock, 5 o'clock. <laughs> 8 o'clock somewhere. Oh, but yes. I don't know if you just heard all of that, Sadie. This is a maze. I don't know if you heard what I said earlier as well. I said I saw your message. I hope everything's going well today. Julian ate one of his apples. So this is what it's talking about. How many keys do I have? I've got loads of gold keys, so I think we're not, we've got no danger there. But, what is this maze all about? I hate mazes. I don't know whether I should get a map now or not. Our phrase is 5 o'clock somewhere. You don't need to wait until 8 o'clock. I, I don't know. 8 o'clock. I mean, should I open this one? It opened. Oh, I should save my game and do what the manual said. Oh, we can't because of the, because of the battle, I guess. And I shall save now. I shall save and open some of these keys. Not open keys, you can't open a key. Open some of these doors. And then we'll reload and have all our keys back. Yeah, you know, like the scum we are. We're a ridiculous thing to have in the game and, and also for the manual to inform you that that's the way forward. I'm just going to open a couple of these doors. What? Now then, then let's reload. And huzzah, the doors are open and we've got our keys back. How utterly nutty. Oh, go away. Oh, bitch went through the wall. Found nothing. The bridal march, isn't it? Go the left one. It opened. How many gold keys have we got? We've got loads of gold keys. You know what? I reckon we've been picking up more than the screen can show. Because it's the same with the glass files, but again, it's not very useful, is it? I've got no idea how many I've got. Let's just have loads of gold keys then. Oh well. This is horrible. I'm gonna get lost for hours. 
wonder if anybody's got a map on Google of this tomb of Hember for something. So what, what am I looking for? Frame rate's chugging, chugging. What's going on over there, boys? Looking good though. You think that the enemies are here for a reason. Wow. Grey key, grey key. Gold. Is that everything? Fairy tale adventure features extended gameplay time. Featured a fucking map. Oh, the keys have begun. The amount of doors that are in here, the game must practically expect you to reload to get your keys back. So this is quite silly. Level design is, is just what's going on. <sighs> it was midday. Alright, uh, let's save and open some doors. Every so often it says that Julian travelled along the stone corridor and I was wondering why that is. Does it mean that we've oh, Julian came to a large room? Is this good? Is this the, the place? What are we looking for? We're looking for bones and something else. I don't know whether something else will be though. This is looking promising for bones. How exciting. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, we found another crystal orb. How did we use any crystal orbs? Yeah. I didn't need to. Not that I could see. What is this? Can we look? I feel like look has not been used very often. Discovered nothing. I'm guessing. Oh my god, just go away. I don't mind fighting the enemies, but I just don't want to hear the music. Well, I thought this would have been the tomb with the bones, but it's not looking like it like it. It is not a rave. It is a seizure. Doesn't this look like the, the conclude? Oh, what? You can't even be bothered with your music? Just... That's the one that's fleeing. Well... Julian ate one of his apples. All this killing's made me hungry. And he travelled down the stone corridor. Do we think that this would be the end?
Is this the end? Oh, for goodness. We took a bone. We found a bone. We took a bone. Just one bone. Oh my god, have we really got to walk all the way out? Of course we have. But, you know, jokes aside, like I said, it is sort of cool. I think... Oh, I haven't... Have I got the right year for this? 1991. This is not good for 1991, but the original, I believe, was... Was it 1989? Or even might have been 86, I've got in my head. I can't remember, but... Either way, for the 80s, this is decent, but for the 90s, this is not good. I feel like the Amiga one is ahead of its time, and the Mega Drive one is just way after. I mean, it could have been on the Master System, probably, to be honest, but it just done some shittier graphics. 1987, a very good year. Great people came into this world in 1987. Amiga. I would legit be interested in checking out the Amiga version. I might see if Retro Interoster can either show it me or hook me up. There is what I feel like there's one more thing we need. Do you still have the manual, Sadie? I don't know if you're following at home. There's one more thing I think we need in this dungeon. Oh, we got another red key. Is it a gold statue? Oh, this is a block. Um. You will find a gold statue and a bone. See, we don't have the gold statue, and I don't think we can leave until we do, and I've no idea where it is. Where would it be? Hmm. I wonder if there's a game FAQs or something. Fairy Tale Adventure Tomb. Is there a map of this tomb? Oh, wow. The map is huge. Golden statue. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So, I found a map. I'm going to follow it. I'm, I, I'm going to assume that this is the same as the Mega Drive, but I'm not necessarily sure it is. It's like close enough though. Basically, we need to go northeast somehow. Can we go in here? Is there a door? Mason, a bird tone, bird tone. I need loads of bird tones. Ugh. How many of these have I got left? Before I blow on my gold keys, I've got quite a few. I think the map that I'm looking at is for the Amiga, but it seems sort of similar. Just the general direction will do. somewhere, I think. Evening was drawing near. It's not like a secret 
door around here, perhaps? Ah, there's one, you see. That's what it was talking about. Right, I might save and do the door scum thing. Okay, it's opened and opened. And opened. Is this the way? This looks promising. I think this is where I need to go. I'm gonna reload. Such a strange game. So hopefully at the end of this corridor there should be the gold statue. And there it is. Fantastic. And we've wrecked some skeletons, shown them who's boss, got some glass vials, got some gold keys. Heard this fantastic room. Oh, octagonal room. Definitely octagonal or octagonal. Either. I guess we can leave now. My only, my only issue, which is not my only issue, because I've said a few issues, but like what we've just done now, I kind of wish the game, like the game, has given you sort of like no real nudge to come here to find this dungeon or even to know what's in there to get like how do you know there's a bone in here and a statue in here it feels like you they expected you to read the manual guide which is fine but i kind of wish they could have included it in the game a little bit better it feels like there's hints from npcs but the hints only make sense when you already know like that guy, let me look at the map again. That guy said something about if you help a friend by the sea. And, well, yeah, but I don't know that. I don't know what you're referring to. And by the sea, the whole world is surrounded by the sea. I guess from that hint, you could run around the sea edge until you discover something, but that's not really cool, is it? Right, this is the way out of the maze somewhere. I'm gonna save because I'm gonna run out of keys. I don't even know where I'm going. There was no key. Uh, wait, what is this? No, this is not the right way. Whoa, there's a lot of people there. Am I going to end up unable to load the game because they won't die? Okay. 
Oh, I've been here before a lot. No, I haven't. Long, 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 long corridor again. How do I get out? Is there another one of the things? Oh, there's one. Right. How many orbs have I got left? Quite a few. And red orbs. I've got loads of gold keys again. Let's just open some. I can't be bothered to even reload. Is this gonna be the way? Oh, why do you have to be that side where I can't get to you? Nightmare. I think it's over there that I need to go. Oh, up there maybe? Is that the right way? That's the corridor, I think. Can I get right? Oh, there they are. Let me just get rid of them. Frame rate is just dead. Made some gold pieces. Right, I'm really hoping this is the way out. Very bad with directions. I think this is it. Yeah. And I think we need to go north, but I'm curious just to look what is down here. Is it just a dead end? empty room. Well, we can leave the way we came. We've got this long ass corridor now. Riveting. This corridor gives me a chance to be slightly triggered by the W on take what because it looks kind of like it's capitalised. Did we actually ever work out what K was? I can't remember now. Take what? Take that. What the hell was K? B is bravery, L is luck, V is vitality, but what the fuck is K? Right, now what? I don't remember the way out. you'll say I'm all book read it in reverse. <clears throat> go south for the long corridor. Turn right again. Now go south. No. Go to the end of the corridor. Eh? 
Take the first right, now go to the end of the corridor, turn right again. Now go south. Oh, I, I don't know, I'm already confused. Does the bird totem work under here? I'll laugh if it does, you know. The bird totem does not activate. Okay, well we'll keep it just in case it's been wasted. Wait, my brain can't read these instructions backwards. Now go south. So turn right. Oh, go to the end of the car, take the first right. No, so it should just be all the way here then. I think I've gone the wrong way and I'm confused. I just want to leave. I don't have a map for this part of the tomb. Kindness, that, yeah, you're right, that's what it, I think that is what it is. Kindness, it's, it's the kindness factor determines whether people talk to you or not. What's that? If it says kindness is important for certain key chapters in the game, it can be increased by acts of kindness, which is arms to the beggars. How do I get out? It's a horrible dungeon. No. Hmm. It was down one of these, but I don't remember which. Huzzah, we're out. Now we can... Well, I don't even know. Let's read the manual. What's next? Another important part of the fairy tale adventure is over. Go see the spectre in the great... Ah, yes. Give him the bone and he will give you the crystal shard. Let's do that. I'd also like to stop back at the inn while I'm here. There is a fast sort of fast travel system in here, but you've really got to kind of know where the teleport stones are, and I don't know where they are. Where's the town? It's like everything needed to be like four times the scale for the actual amount of content there is. It's just endless empty fields. <laughs> oh please, whatever's chasing me just die so the music stops.
Let's check the map. Ah, oh, we're here now, near the inn. But we need to go back to the right. Take wow. Oh, there's a bird totem. I'll have that. I'm gonna use it. Oh, we're right next to the town then. Julia needs to sleep. Julia is getting tired. He's gonna sleep until fucking sundown again, though. It's like my real life, isn't it? It's like he's got into a bad sleeping habit. Oh, let's give you some money. Get some more kindness. Some more. Oh, got 22 kindness there. Yeah, Julian's on a bad sleep cycle. Look at him. Oh, mind you, though, we need to talk to the spectre. We're gonna have to wait till midnight, which is just ridiculous. so easy to get lost in this game. I thought I was above the town. And what's in this now? Three green jewels. I don't know what they do. I kind of don't want to sleep until it's going to make it midnight. <clears throat> Buy some more travel rations. I don't really, it never really explained any that you needed any of these, but I'm just assuming that that's why we do. Should we get some bird totems? Healing elixirs. Is it daytime now? Perhaps we should talk to the mayor as well. I wonder just to pretend that we know what we're doing. Oh, he's not even there. I wonder if he would give a hint. Even though I'm going to just read the manual. There is a myth that the witching hour, the Lord. Oh, we already know. Fucking loser. It opened. 
There's not many people in this town, really, is there? Like, what happened to my neighbour? Who? What is that house? There's no furniture. I feel like I haven't seen the sun for days, just like real life. Just waking up in the afternoon. Go to sleep, Julian. Julian was tired, so he decided to lie down and sleep. It was morning. No, I don't want morning. I want the after the evening. Julian is not sleeping. Bug. If she was, we're gonna have to wait around that crypt until midnight. That'll be fun. I assume. How's it going? Back on this lovely fairy tale Amiga Amiga port adventure. Very well. See, I suspect I'm going to have to wait. It's locked. I'm gonna have to wait until midnight. Which key opens that? Did you try the gold key but it didn't fit? Which key do I need? I've got loads of keys now. A green key? I don't even know what the green keys do. I'm gonna hold on to these keys though. Nobody's there. It's there though. Oh. Can I not give him the bone? Oh. Well, we've got to kill some time now. for the thing that let's read what else we've got to do while we're waiting for midnight I'm going to leave the game running let's have a look so assuming we've given the bone to the spectre which we'll do in a moment Grimwood, Swan Island and the Forbidden Keep now come a group of tasks that will result in the rescue of the king's daughter. First, you need to find the temple of the people who've gone before. What? <laughs> the temple of the people who've gone before. Okay. In the mountains south of Marheim, go to the stone circle near Tambre and use a blue stone. Choose valley near Marheim. You'll be transported to a place west of a mountain range. Before you go anywhere, use a bird totem and you'll see a temple to the northeast. 
it is almost completely surrounded by mountains, but you can reach the temple from the south. Once you arrive, you will face the Dream Knight, who will challenge you to a duel. By this time, you should have enough bravery points to defeat him with your sword. I don't have a sword. I've got the one thing from the dragon. Then you can enter the temple and find the sunstone. Go back to the stone circle, use the blue stone to turn to Tambre. So we could probably do that. That's probably not too bad. How am I supposed to know to go there, though? Where is that? Grimwood? First, you need to go to the temple of the people who have gone before in the mountains south of Marheim. Oh, we can just use the teleporter then. So we'll go back to Tambre. We'll just have given this bone. I have to go. Bye. See you later, Sadie. Thanks for stopping by. That's Marheim. So it must be these down here then. But we can just use a teleport. Or maybe it's there. Hmm. Let's do that. Unfortunately, we've still got to kind of wait for the midnight. <laughs> I kind of wish there was some sort of way to fast travel. Why is there no way to increase the time? Maybe I could just kill some things. want to leave in case I need the crystal shard. What does a crystal shard even do? Is it really that important? I 
In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the items. Let's have a look. And that and also just leave the time passing. Glass files, green jewels, that's for light in the dark. I do need those. Um bird totem, jade skull. Oh, I could have used that in the dungeon. I think I've got some of those. I could have used that for enemies that I couldn't reach. Stop time. Crystal orbs, secret doors for the tomb of Hemsath. Maybe you don't need them for other places where you'll discover a golden statue and a bone. There's a hint there, I guess. Blue stone in the travel stones. Turtle, snake, sorcerer, dragon, witch. The tree knight. He holds the sun stone. I suppose there's hints here in the lore. The shrine is hidden in the mountains, yeah. Evil I wonder. Oh, the shell. That's. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot. Yeah, we can do the sea turtle. The shell can be found in the watchtower at the eastern edge of Holm. Or the sea turtle may give it to you. Oh, so there's, there was two ways to get the shell? I want to know the crystal shell... Ah, helps you cross the energy barrier in the evil necromancer's castle, the citadel of, Do citadel of doom. So we definitely need this crystal shard. So this is hints of how to find these items too. Give it to the spectre. He also wants the evil necromancer dead. He will give you assistance. Okay. I guess we're over halfway through the game now. I might just try and do this first bit and then perhaps maybe switch the game. And it's still not quite time yet. I'm just going to wait inside until he appears again, I think. Till midnight. I'd be right back and go and get a coffee, but I'm scared that I'll miss him. Julian ate one of his apples. <laughs> I am going to get a drink. I'm just going to leave it running though so that I can see. 
but I shall be back in a moment. Oh, finally, there he is. He has usurped my place as Lord of Undead. Bring me the bones of the ancient king, and I'll help you destroy him. I did. Good. That spirit now rests quietly in my halls. Take this. Crystal shard. Do I have the crystal shard now? I don't see it. Where? Where? I don't see it. I'm just going to assume I have it. Good story. It's a bit bare bones. <laughs> The dead have no need for wealth as this. Okay. I don't really... Oh, Julian found it. There's the shard. We took it. Winner or one for the bin? Mm -hmm. The bin, I'd say. <laughs> the, Amiga, the Amiga version might be worth looking at, but this is a bit, a bit of a slog. I mean, you just, as you can see, it's a bit of a check under. Is my review? Hang in there. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is the problem when you do these things, isn't it? Sometimes we have to play difficult to sell games. <laughs> interesting of things, is it? But at least once it's done, it's done. Oops. The worst part about it, really, is just the music. It's just god awful. No, I want the wand. Where's the st stones? It was midnight. 
rather it wasn't. What? I feel like I need to perhaps... Do I need to buy more apples now? Yeah, I do. Ugh, annoying. Where's my home? Will he sleep? I'd rather go in the morning. Oh, good. It was morning. Right, so now we need to go to the stone circle, wherever that 